to stay warm is key. That's like ensure that you you come back alive. The noob to check it from the beginning was always part of my climbing career. The name comes from that mountain there in the Kumbu. And it's just below 8,000 meter, and it's the neighbor of this iconic and famous mountain. I mean, the mountain itself is Everest, it's super close. Everest and Nupta, to compare these climbs, you want to just follow like the climber in front of you, or do you really want to create your own pass? TNF is for the mountains, of course, there's, you know, alpine gear. But I live in the city, New York, man, New York. If anybody been in New York, everybody knows. One minute it could be warm, the next minute it could be cold, the next minute it'll be raining. I think New York City owns, like, the Nupsi trend. Like, we did that. Anywhere else that that trend sort of caught on was just, you know, they were watching us. Twenty-five years old, that jacket. Doesn't look like a 25-year-old jacket, to be fair, does it? Anytime you see the noopsies with the baggy pants, what you gonna think about? You gonna think about hip-hop, you're gonna think about the 90s, man. Moi, les premières personnes que j'ai vu porter des noopsies quand j'étais un rappeur dans les années 90, c'était DJ Fab, qui est l'un des premiers DJ qui m'a donné ma chance en tant que MC. Bah lui, ne porte que des noopsies. That big, like, puffy jacket, worn three sizes too big, just looks crazy and, like, ostentatious. And that's what rappers wanted to look like. That's what the people who listen to rap wanted to look like. En admirant des gens comme Ghostface Killah, comme André 3000, comme Rayquan, qui ont toujours eu cette science du vêtement euh, et de, de, de la flamboyance. When you throw that joint on, you feel like you're like Mike Tyson in the ring, man, I'm telling you. It gives you like a statue. I don't really like a lot of women's clothes. My shit has to be baggy and comfy. It's got an iconic silhouette and shape to it, and it doesn't really need messing with, and that's the beauty of it. That's why people are still really into it. It's part of the scene now. It's part of the London scene. You see this jacket being worn by ravers and people in the grime scene. When it comes to tour, I like to travel light. I don't want to feel like I'm bringing my whole life with me. It's streetwear, whatever, but for me, it's, it's a functionality thing, really. Moi, j'ai besoin de pouvoir avoir une nupsie un jour à Montréal et euh, la mettre en boule et la mettre dans mon sac et qu'elle prenne pas de place le lendemain pour que je sois en t-shirt à Miami. My night starts around 10 p.m. and we come back home around 7 a.m. So we go to different parties with my friends and we wander around the streets of London. So you need a jacket because it's cold, but at the same time, you need to look stylish. When I first started using this gear, I bought it for fashion. But now that I realize what the gear is really about, why not use the gear for what it's worth? So I'm getting rid of that car, thinking about my environment. Man, I love walking. Like, not only do you get to use your gear, but you get to see your environment. It's nice to explore, and then you create your own character. The Nupsi is irrelevant because it's very basic. It's a practical piece, like it's easy to wear. To have the right gear for the right objective, it's key. I don't think we all walk up mountains, you know, but we love the gear, that's the difference.